Hey guys, what's happening? This is Steve Goldberg for DanSorber.com and I'm going to be doing a little drum tutorial video series in order to give you some tips and techniques on how you can improve your drumming. So the first thing I want to talk about and really examine is something called the drop catch technique, which is often used to employ double strokes uh, or the open stroke roll or what's commonly referred to as open style playing, which sounds something like this. Okay, as opposed to a more closed style or buzz style of playing rolls and rudiments like this. Okay, so there's a significant difference in sound there. Um, now, I think that this technique is often an overlooked concept, but a very important one nevertheless, because I think once you really take the time to master this technique, you really open up a lot of possibilities for your drumming. Uh, in different idioms. So whether you're a jazz drummer or a rock drummer or you play in a marching band or you're into drum corps, um, this technique will really aid you in all of those different idioms um, should you choose to want to play in any one of them. Um, now I've seen a lot of different videos on double strokes and on this technique but I haven't really seen any that meticulously break down how this technique works and how you can use it to play ultra clean rolls and rudiments. So I want to give you a very specific breakdown of how this works how it relates to your anatomy and how it relates to the economy of motion so that you can make it work for you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take the drumstick like so and hold it like you would normally hold it between your thumb and the index finger and then use these back three fingers for support like this. Okay, and then we're going to make two strokes, a drop stroke and a catch stroke. So it's going to be drop, catch, drop, and then catch. The first stroke, the drop stroke, is initiated by the wrist right here. So my wrist comes up, the fingers come down, and then for the catch stroke, my fingers just pull the stick up like that. So it's wrist, and then fingers, wrist, and then fingers. Okay? And notice on the catch stroke, you're really just pulling the stick up. It's kind of like, like catching a ball. You know, you're just grabbing at the stick. Um, it's a little bit more subtle because you're using a drumstick rather than a ball, but it's really the same concept. Okay. Now notice I'm um, using wrist and fingers only. Okay. The forearm, the elbow, the shoulder, none of those are really initiating the strokes at all. It's all wrist and fingers. Okay. So you want to make sure that that's what you're using. And also, um, this is pretty important, is you want to keep all of your fingers in contact with the stick throughout the process. So you don't want to come out here after the drop stroke and then come back for the catch stroke. I've seen a lot of my students do this where they'll come down and then their fingers will be out here and then they'll try and come back. And that's not going to help you develop precision and speed with this technique. Okay? It's just going to make the process more difficult and more tedious. So you want to maintain contact with the stick okay? throughout the entire thing. Okay? It's the least amount of motion possible is what we're aiming for in order to be efficient. So practice that one hand at a time, right, and then left, and start alternating. And when you're first practicing this, try putting a little emphasis on the second stroke, the catch stroke, okay? I think that'll help you play cleaner rolls down the road, because I think a lot of people, what they tend to do is they try and use this technique and they try and play the, the rolls too fast right away. Um, and the second stroke, the catch stroke, will end up getting lost and it'll end up sounding sloppy. So you want to really emphasize that second stroke. Okay. And then as you get faster with this, you can start to even out the dynamics of the strokes. And then faster and faster. Now, once you really master that fundamental aspect of the technique, you can start to branch out and use it in different contexts. So you can start to play different broken combinations of open stroke rolls, say to play a drum cadence, for example, like this. Okay. Um, paradiddles also work great, both on the snare drum and on the drum set. Something like this.
eventually you can start to use all sorts of open stroke rolls, paradiddles, open drags, open random cues, and you can start to play these idioms um, in an open style. Like, for example, uh, this next excerpt that I'm going to play is something from a Charlie Wilcoxon solo, a rudimental solo played in an, in an open style, like this. Okay? Very difficult, very challenging. Really, probably the most difficult technique I've ever had to learn as a drummer. Uh, it's not something that comes overnight. It's not even something that really comes within a few months. It's something that really takes, or took me, at least one to two years of daily consistent practice in order to get it down so that I could start using it uh, in context. Um, so, but I think if you really put in the time and the effort, you will reap the rewards of this technique and you'll be able to do a lot with it um, once you get it down. So with that said, I hope you got a lot out of this video. Um, good luck with this and practice hard out there.